This is usual when I'm building planes and you can't see exactly what I've done. In fact, you can't really see a lot of what I've done, but this plane, it's a very small one. It's that wide. And it has wing dihedral. Now, wing dihedral is, instead of the wings being flat, they actually point upwards like that on the tips. Now, that gives it a stability it acts like a, it's like a pendulum so when you let go of the sticks it will, you generally it returns back to zero back to the same point but inherently what happens is because it's like a pendulum you get a swinging effect the tail goes around everything and and it's just terrible the mini talon uh, has got wing tip dihedral which does help it in every sense it's so stable it's unreal but this one, with the with the complete wing dihedral, where they're both pointing upwards, it's bad. I've seen videos of these things, they're swaying all over the bloody place. So I've taken that out. So now you can see it's flat. I've fitted a Metal Gear digital servo on the front, which is for these two here. And I know these levers are in the wrong position at the minute, but they're only there because... Uh, the glue's drying to set these things straight. The, the, oh, it'll become apparent soon one day. I've put two servos in the back for the tail, for the V-tail, so I've got a rudder control. Um, and that's basically all I've done. Oh, the motor's on the back. Which is a 2205, is it? The RS2205, 26... 2300 kV. So I'm going to be using that on there, which is a mini quad thing, and also I'm going to be using a mini quad ESC. Now, if you want to fly it, that's basically all you need. Obviously you need a prop on it, you need a receiver, which I'm not warring up yet. I am going to war it up in a bit. Um, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it like that, purely because I start panicking. When I'm flying away from myself, things are okay and if I turn around and think where the bloody hell am I it's happened quite a few times believe it or not or if you lose signal if you lose control or you lose it, it and it just disappears and that's the end of it I want some form of fail safe on it so what I've got is where the f*** have I put that unbelievable oh I've got it I've got one of these this is a uh, I've got glow on my hands, an F4 V5 Pro from HGL Tech. It's basically a flight controller, video transmitter, current sensor, uh, everything all in one. Now these are usually fitted on mini quads. I fitted it on my, uh, my last mini quad, which is actually now being dismantled. So I'm going to use that. So that's going to be the video transmitter and the flight controller. So what will happen is I'll put iNav, iNav on it. So when I'm flying away, it will give me an arrow to give me uh, what way to come home. And I'm also putting a GPS on it, which I can't find at the minute. Um, so that'll, that's a fail-safe thing. So if I hit the fail-safe switch, it will fly back to me and then I can land it. It will land but I prefer to land it myself because I've seen bad things happen they land in trees and god knows where else so that's the fail safe on there um, the battery I'm going to be making out of LG HG2's I think these are uh, 18650's I'm going to make a 4S pack of those I've got to get the centre of gravity right so I'm going to have to use these batteries to balance it so what I've got to do is get all the weight exactly where I want it and then I'm going to see if the GPS, if I put it back here, it may be tail heavy. I've got to work that out. I might have to put it up front somewhere. I don't know yet. Uh, receiver. Where is it? This is stupid. I put something down. I turn around and someone's bloody stolen it. I swear somebody keeps moving stuff. This is a Free Sky XM receiver. Can you see it? <laughs> so that's the receiver I'm going to be using in a V configuration like that. Which I may put I may put that on the back because it's ridiculously light. 
or I might put it in the middle. I might put it up front actually with the GPS and then the antenna for the video transmitter can go towards the back try and get a lot as much separation as you can when you're building these things if you've got FPV you need to get as much separation between a transmitter and receiver although this does telemetry so technically it is a transmitter um, you still need to get as much separation as you can that's the transmitter part which plugs into that and this is the receiver part which plugs into nothing at the minute, it plugs into the flight controller so I've got some balancing up to do, I've got to place everything up and make sure that the centre of gravity I can get it right my god it's getting hot in here it's about 26 degrees <sighs> one thing about living in a flat with a flat roof my god it doesn't half get hot this is my curse this is what happens whenever I try and build a plane <laughs> I fitted everything in, the GPS was working, I wired the camera up, I plugged the power in and this is all I get now. I've tried reflashing the firmware, makes no difference. Hang on, is it going to reboot? And now it will reboot. I don't get it, I really don't get it. If I put it in DFU, put it in DFU mode, it flashes the firmware and it gets through to the end and then it says bootload of failed bloody bollocks, I don't know what it is. I don't get it. I'll turn the VTX off, which you can see there, it says zero, so that's zero output. I tried it, the first time I tried it, I powered it through the battery, the camera was working and everything came on. Everything was fine. And then I rebooted it and it's never worked again I ain't got a bloody clue so I got this this was sent to me for review before it was a pre-release thing and it was a, a long time ago it's probably about 18 months ago now don't need the headers this is turn that shit off this is designed for a wing um, I don't know what the alternative is I mean it's got a it's got a current sensor it's got OSD, it's got absolutely everything that this has got apart from the VTX. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this I've got to try it first, make sure it bloody works. Programming things on the top makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to use that, it's an F4 same process, the same everything, so I'm going to be using that bloody thing instead. I've got to rip all this out. I'm going to have to use a separate VTX which I can't find, no idea where I've put them all but it don't matter. Piece of shit. I nearly finished it actually. <laughs> it was quite easy in relation to my usual builds because I'm so bloody particular. It's a downfall. It's a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Nothing in there, nothing to see apart from a battery connector. And also the transmitter, the VTX is in there, or the VTX antennas in there. I thought rather than sticking up out the top to causing drag and stuff like that, put it in the bottom. That plywood's going to cause virtually no shielding whatsoever, so it'll be invisible to everything. In here we have an air, what is it called now? A wing FC 10 DOF, which is the direction of force. So it does 10 direction of forces, which is up, down, left, right that way and all like that, you know what I mean? I'll put a link in the description for these things, I've had this like I say when it first came out they're very similar to the, is it the Maytech um, F411 but this is a, I think this is an F4 can't remember, anyway it does 2 to 6S I'm running on 4S uh, there's my buzzer which I've put a bloody piece, that, oh that noise out of that thing that's in there Obviously I've only got one motor wire, uh, there's the battery wire, there's the motor wire, servo leads going all the way back to there, there's my receiver on 2.4 gig, GPS is in there, covered by a piece of wing tape, and I know everyone's going to say, oh that's a transmitter as well, it does telemetry and it's all bollocks, don't care, think what you want.
it, it, it doesn't affect it, don't worry. Um, underneath, nothing. Bit of shit wiring in there. Uh, I've got a BEC which is for, uh, for 5 volts there. ESC is obviously there, just hot glued on, no heat shrink, don't care, nothing's going to break on it. And you can just about see the VTX in there. The other thing, I built a battery, a nice little 4S battery made out of Litacala batteries. These are LG HG2s or the Litacala version. The capacity, the ampage, everything, they're identical to HG2s but a hell of a lot cheaper. Link in the description for them. So I made this 4S battery which is perfect for what I need. Absolutely perfect. Let's just make sure I've got everything wired the right way. Amazing, it comes on. <laughs> uh, it's a first for me actually. It is a first for me because usually these things go completely tits up and everything starts setting on fire and God knows what. That thing was a piece of piss to fit, a piece of piss to wire up in comparison. I don't know what's happened to that. I really don't know what's happened to it. Um, I don't know if it's a firmware thing or what, but I've tried to put beta flight back on it and it's still exactly the same. It just sits there, beeps God knows how long, and then reboots. Don't know, piece of shit. Maiden's going to be soon when I can get outside. It started raining today, so I can't go out. Oh, hang on, I'll put the wings on. Radio control. Left, right, left, right. That's, that's all working. Up and down's working. Left and right. Rudder's working. I can't, I can't, got no, got no throttle because I haven't calibrated the compass and everything else yet. So there you go. The next video, when I've managed to figure out how to get the CG right, I've still got to put the prop on, which is going to be a three blade prop, one of them. So that's got to go on there somewhere. And then I've got to get the CG right, and it's nose heavy. I just hope. Perfect. I could always put the run cam or something on top there, I don't know. We'll see.